Welcome to our review on composite materials. When we use the term composite materials, we're referring to something that's made from two or more materials with different properties that we've combined together. Now, the properties of the composite material are actually different from those of the materials it contains. And perhaps one of the best examples to use at this point is a material called cob. Now, cob is actually made from clay, sand, straw and water, and it's used in several buildings in areas where bricks may not be so easy to come across and cement. So when it actually dries, the cob itself has similar properties to reinforced concrete that we use in a lot of our buildings in the UK. But the pictures I've given you at the bottom there, in the middle, you've got a house in the Sudan, which, as you can see, doesn't have the same materials as the houses in the UK. So you have to use the resources available to you in the areas. Another common composite material is one that you're probably sitting there wearing right now. So we can have cotton and we can have polyester. So cotton is lightweight, it's comfortable to wear, but it's not particularly hard wearing. Whereas polyester is comfortable to wear, it's harder wearing than cotton, it's easier to wash and dry, but it's not breathable. So that means you get that little clammy feeling because it's not allowing the sweat to evaporate easily. So what we can do is we can create a composite material called polycotton, which is actually what most of the clothes that you wear are made of because it brings in properties of both polyester and cotton to make a better material for our clothing. Another common composite material these days is fiberglass. So what we've done here is we've taken these very thin glass fibers and embedded them within a resin to create our fiberglass, which we can use to make things like canoes and so forth. We also have carbon fiber these days, which we tend to use in sports equipment, racing cars and aircraft parts, because again, it's very strong but it's also very lightweight. We can also use these composite materials in building work. Now, one of the mainstays of our building industry is concrete, which is a composite that we've made from aggregate, which are small bits of rock, sand and cement, so that when we add water to it, chemical reactions occur that then bind those ingredients together to make something that's very strong. Concrete itself has this high compressive strength. So when you push down on it, it's strong. So that means it's very good to use in the foundations of buildings where obviously the, ma the actual mass of the building is pushing down on that foundation. However, it doesn't have a high tensile strength. So when we try to use beams made of just concrete, then when you place loads on them, they quite often crack, which obviously isn't a great thing if it's a beam that's supporting the upper levels of a house. So what we actually do is we use steel because steel has a high tensile strength. And so what we do is we take the steel rods and we embed them in the concrete to make a composite material called steel reinforced concrete. And this benefits from having both a high compressive strength and a high tensile strength. So that's why when you see people putting up buildings, they might have this mesh work of steel put down, which they then pour the concrete over. Or there are these steel rods that are sticking out of the columns at the top where they're still building the actual work. Another common building material is wood. Now, the trouble with wood is that it's prone to cracking in one direction. So what we do to increase the strength of wood, we can make something called plywood. So what we do is we glue together these thin sheets of wood, which are set at right angles to one another. And that makes it much stronger because it can't just crack down one plane. It's got the stronger one at 90 degrees in each other layer. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can define the term composite material and you can also explain some of the physical properties of composite materials including how they could actually improve the uses of the materials.